we welcome you to this new Arabic course. When you say a sentence, in Arabic we'll say al-jumlatu. Sentence is a group of words which make complete sense, brother. A group of words which does not make complete sense, then it is not a sentence. Then we can call it a phrase. Okay, we call it a phrase. Huh? So here we are concerned with sentence. Okay. Now, in Arabic language, there are two kinds of sentences. How many kinds? Two kinds. Two kinds huh? One is called al-jumlatul ismiyatu, and other is called al-jumlatul fi'aliyatu. Fi'al. Huh? Remember, fi'al means verb. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fi'alun means verb. Okay. So, it's very simple. Al-jumlatul ismiyatu, what do we call in English? Nominal sentence will begin with a noun. And al-jumlatul fi'aliyatu, in English, verbal sentence will begin with a verb. Okay, fine. Easy, very easy. Let's talk about in English. A nominal sentence has two parts. Hmm? It's broken into two sections. Section number one, subject. What is section number two? <coughs> Predicate. Huh? Subject is a noun that we are talking about. And predicate is a statement about the no. noun. It gives a little more detail. Subject in Arabic is called al-mubtada. Huh? Al-mubtada. Or you can simply say mubtada. What will you say? Mubtada. Those who know Urdu, for them it's very easy. Because they use mubtada. Just say ibtada hoti hai. Things with which you begin something. Muftada. Huh? What is the meaning of muftada? The thing which begins with. Okay? Something that is used to begin something. Muftada. Okay? Subject. And what is uh, called uh, predicate in Arabic? Very simple. Al khabaru. Or you'll say khabar. Are you with me? Khabar means news. What is the meaning of khabar? News. Huh? But as I said, brother, in English, we have subject and predicate. Are you with me? But in Arabic, we have muqtada and khabar. Are you with me, brother? Huh? Subject, predicate. Subject means muqtada. Predicate means khabar. Every sentence, if it is a jumla ismiya, We'll have these two parts. There will be a subject and there will be a predicate. Now we come to Al Kalamu Maksurun. What is the meaning now? Say it loudly. The pen. What did you say? The pen. Huh? You started the sentence with the pen. The pen is broken. You started with the. You will always start with, what did you start with? The. the. It means you started with a definite noun. The muptada will be most of the time definite. And then brother, what about the khabar? Khabar will be most of the time indefinite. Huh? So you won't say a ah in it because it's an adjective. But if I say, Muhammad is a doctor, so what will you say? Muhammadun tabibun. Muhammad is definite, but tabibun is a indefinite. Are you with me? Now, more uh, example, brother. Haza baytun. Are you with me? Baytun, a house. Huh? But haza, okay, actually it is definite. We are not going to go in detail now, but later on we will explain you that even haza is a definite. Because when you point out to something, 
It is something particular. Huh? But we will go in detail later on. Huh? Rule number two. Muptada will always be marfu. Are you with me? Muptada will always be marfu. What is the meaning of that? It will end with a dhamma. See now we are coming, right away we are coming to what we were uh, trying to say in the beginning. That noun, it can be marfu, it can be mansu, or it can be mansu. Now as I said, we want to know why they are marfu and mansu and majru. So if it is a muptada, it will always be marfu. Kharas. Karda idea of that? If it is a muptada, it will always be marfu. And if it is news, khabar, then also it will always be marfu. And if there are no vowel signs, we will still make it marfu. So brothers and sisters, here we come. Al-Kalamu Maksurun. Is Al-Kalamu Marfu? Yes. Is Maksurun Marfu? Yes. Huh? Okay. Both are Marfu. Huh? What is Al-Kalamu? Mubtada. Are you with me? What is Al-Kalamu? Oh, where is the khabar? What about the pen? Tell me more about the pen. Where is the khabar? Maksurun. It's broken. Are you with me? So Mubtada and khabar. Mubtada and khabar. Next sentence, brother. Al-babu uh, What is the translation of al-babu? The door. What did you say? The door. Definite. You use that. Huh? Okay, and what is it now? What is the news? Is open. Huh? Okay, now we go in Arabic. Al-babu. What is al-babu? Mubtada. Uh, what is maftuhun? Khabar. The news. Are you with me? Is it clear? Brother, al-waladu, the boy. What it can be? It started the sentence. It's marfu. It started the sentence, so it has to be. It's muftada. Huh? The sentence begins with a noun. Huh? So it is a nominal sentence. Jumla ismiya. Huh? The boy... That is our muftada. Where is the khabar? Waqifun. Standing. Are you with me? So here we have got simple sentences and we are easily identifying the words in it. One is muftada, other is khabar. Jumla ismiya, muftada and khabar. Muftada marfu, khabar also marfu. Are you with me? Al-kitabu what is it? Al-Kitabu Jadidun. Al-Kitabu Mubtada Jadidun is the Khabar. Are you with me? The translation is, the book is new. Wal-Kalamu and the pen. Qadimun. That is your Khabar. Huh? Next one. Al-Himaru Sagirun. The donkey is small. Wal-Hisanu Kabirun. And the horse is big. Do you see the khabar is indefinite? Huh? All the time indefinite coming. Huh? Brother, tell me, isn't it easy? I hope you will find it easy. Huh? Because we will be repeating these things, inshallah.